Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. You're looking at one of my 16 series rigs. I just moved it over to this bigger frame because I had the cards packed too close together on a smaller frame in my grow tent over there. They're just getting too warm, but this card is still getting too hot. And in this video, we're gonna see if we can fix it. So let me give you a quick overview of this rig. On it, I have six 1660 Ti's and two 1660 Supers. These two are Gigabytes, EVGA here, and then EVGA 1660 Supers as well. And as I said in the intro, I just moved them over to this bigger frame because I have these cards really packed close together. They're getting way too warm in the grow tent and it was causing the thermal throttle and just give me some issues so I got them out. They're running much better now in the open air in this bigger frame, but this specific EVGA 1660 Ti is still giving me some issues. So let me switch over to this rig here so we can check out what I'm seeing. So you can see it mining Firo right now. I'm continuing to solo mine Firo. And you can see the performance I'm getting on these cards, a little under two mega hash. One of them actually over two mega hash. Uh, you can see the wattage running about 75 watts. But the GPU I want us to pay attention to is GPU number four in this miner, this EVGA GTX 1660 Ti. You can see it's underperforming the rest of the 1660 Ti's by just a little bit. And you can see it's running much hotter at the GPU die. And the fans are on automatic are also having to kick up more to keep this graphics card cool. But the thing that got me really concerned, and I saw this when it was in the grow tent in Awesome Miner, and I'm checking out Hardware Info 64 right now, is the GPU hotspot temperature. Now, just an example of what the rest of the cards look like. You're looking at the GPU temperature, which is what you see in the miner. So 53 degrees for the GPU one, which is GPU zero, the first card, that gigabyte. And you can see the hotspot temperature, 66 degrees. Now let's take a look as we go down here. They're all looking really similar, right? 52, 64 looking pretty good. And then as I go down to that card in question, which is GPU four in the miner, but in Hardware Info 64's GPU five, look at that hotspot temperatures, 84 degrees. That is 15 degrees hotter than the card right next to it. And so I noticed when I was mining with this in the tent that when this, as this got really hot, the GPU would thermal throttle. And I asked myself, what the heck is GPU hotspot temperature? And the way it's defined here is this temperature is unconfirmed, but assumed to be the value from the hottest thermal sensor. So there's something in there, some sensor in this car that's picking up that this GPU is running really hot inside. And so what I'd like to do in this video is a little more investigating and see if I can get that fixed. So I'm gonna take this GPU off, I'm gonna open it up, see what is happening inside, see if just re reapplying thermal paste and thermal pads might help. I did clean it out with compressed air, a bunch of dust came out, but it didn't make any difference here with the hotspot temperature. So I'm gonna get it off this frame. I'll change up the camera, we'll get it open, we'll look at it together, see if we can get it fixed, and then come back and check the hotspot temperature once I do that. All right, so we're gonna dive into this card. Here it is, here's that EVGA 1660 Ti. Again, looks pretty clean, not in too bad a shape here little bit of oil that I cleaned, that's on the back. So I'm curious to see the inside. I haven't opened up one of these before. And I can see we got our pretty obvious four screws. One, two, three, four here. I'll take that sticker off. And I wanna see if that just clears this whole thing from the back or not. There's the uh, screws for the fans inside the fan, but I don't think I have to mess with any of that. And then I see, you know, the screws holding on this part here. And I'm not sure I might have to take some of these out. I'm not sure. So we'll see what happens. We're going to dive into it. So I got a, my screwdriver here and we're going to start taking this apart and see what we get. I'm really curious to see if the pads or the paste just look really dry or if there's dust that I couldn't get out of this on the inside. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens here. So those four screws are out. Does that do anything for me? Yeah, that is that it? That's literally it. Okay. 
And then there's one connector right there. And uh, I'm already looking at that paste, looking not so great. So let's get this connector out. And that was the easiest GPU to ever open up. So let's take a look. I, it's got to be that that paste is just toast. There's no real dust in here. I can clean up this a little bit, but that wouldn't be impacting anything else. And I'm looking through, I'm not going to take the back plate off, but I'm looking through there. I don't see any pads or anything back there. To me, it's a really simple card, really low power card. So it makes sense that that's all it's got going on. You can see the paste there is really dry. So I'm going to repaste it and see if that gets us in a better position. And yeah, let me do that. So let me get some thermal paste and I'll be right back. All right, so next thing we got to do is clean off that thermal paste so pretty standard stuff alcohol science tissues and uh, we're gonna clean that off so let me do that get this cleaned up and then we'll get new paste on get it reassembled all right I got the GPU all cleaned up you can see that pretty GPU right there. Let's see if it focuses. There it is. Looking really nice. So I got that cleaned up and then I have the cooler all cleaned up as well. So now what we got to do is apply some thermal paste here. So I like using this MX5. It's what I've used for GPUs. No complaints. There's probably some better stuff out there, but I like this. So what I'm going to do is just put some on here. And then I'm going to spread it out. There's some differing opinions on how you're supposed to do this, but somebody gave me some feedback on one of my first videos saying you should spread it on GPU so it makes good contact. So I've been doing that. I used to just put a pea size or grain of rice size in the center and let it squish down like you would do on a CPU. But now I just spread it. This might be a little too much. We'll see how it does. She might be okay. So you want it to make the best contact with the cooler possible so that it can dissipate its heat through the cooler and that your GPU die stays nice and cool. I'm not an expert on any of this stuff, but I used to fix computers for a long time, but not much with graphics cards until mining. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good about that. You guys can let me know how you're feeling about that. And then I'm going to put this plug back in for the fans. Again, not a fancy car, no RGB, no nothing crazy like that. Uh, which is, makes it a dream to work on here. So I got that snug. And then all that's left is put this cooler back on. Let's do that. Lining up these holes here as best as I can. All right. So now let's just screw it back in. Now, one of the things you want to do to apply even pressure is go in a crisscross pattern here. So I'll put this one in, then I'll go across and put this one in. And here in the US, any warranty, uh, <laughs> any warranty void stickers you see, they don't hold up. So don't worry about, you can open up these cards, just don't damage anything. But you can open it up, work on them, replace thermal pads. Warranty void sticker means nothing, at least here in the United States. But if you damage anything, then it's on you. And that just tells, you know, like this sticker here now just tells EVGA that that card was was opened up, which is fine. Doesn't doesn't harm anything. Let me just give this back a quick wipe here. So I got some thermal compound on it. 
And I'm gonna just give it a once over look, make sure everything's looking good. Make sure everything's seated properly. Looking good, like, like it's making pretty good contact in there. You guys can see that. And that's it, really simple card. Man, <laughs> I really enjoyed working on this one. So I'm gonna get this back in the rig. We'll get that set up and we'll see if that improved anything at all. And I really hope it does because I'm not sure what I would do next. So let's do it. All right, moment of truth. So I have the GPU back in the rig. It's been mining for a few minutes now. So let's see how we did. I'm gonna switch over to cameras here. And you can see the miner back on your screen. And remember that it's GPU number four in the miner that was giving me issues. You can see now we're hitting 1.92 mega hash, which is right in line with the rest of the 1660 Ti's here, except this one, which is just Silicon Lottery winner, it's beast mode. But this is the ones I'm looking at, right in line with those. And again, GPU four, you can see the temperatures right in line with the rest of them and the fan speeds right in line with the rest of them running pretty low right now on automatic. Let's check out Hardware Info 64. And you can see here, GPU hotspot temperature is now 72 degrees. Let's just check the GPUs next to it. 71 degrees, 74 degrees. So we're looking really, really good. We did it, I did it, I fixed it. So happy about that. So that's it guys, that's this video. If you have a graphics card that is throttling, that is running hot, even this 1660 Ti, if you're having issues with that hot spot temperature, looks like thermal paste. Uh, cleaning it up, getting some thermal, new thermal paste on there is what solves the issue. And so we're gonna call this one a success, which I'm super happy with because I wasn't sure what I was gonna do next. So next step for this rig, it's gonna go out in the garage. It's gonna join my other 1660 Ti rig and they're gonna have some more fun solo mining Firo. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe for more content on GPU mining. Join my Discord if you wanna chat. Link is in the description below. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.